The chief executive of Iraq Energy, Louis Al Khatib, joins us live from the Credit Suisse Asian Investment Conference in Hong Kong. Welcome to First Look. And I wanted to first start with volatility from geopolitical risks. The focus now, of course, is Iran. Where do you see oil prices going for 2012? Uh, good morning, uh, Caroline. Uh, the uh, situation on the price volatility will continue to hit the market heavily because, unfortunately, the market is very much dependent on uh, the views of speculators, and speculators play the markets on uh, paper barrel rather than actual cargoes. Uh, what really uh, the market needs is real information and update on, on, and, and real assessment of uh, what the world needs. Now, according to what OPEC uh, foresee uh, by 2035, uh, the world will need um, um, an, an added um, uh, volume of 23, uh, 23 million barrels in addition to the 88 uh, million barrels uh, daily production of today. Now, this volume is um, twice, uh, this is, uh, basically we're adding to Saudi Arabia. And for the only candidate that we could think of uh, at this moment in time is um, to increase the production of Iraq. Iraq could uh, play that role uh, in, the, in, in the long term. However, in the short term, there are questions in terms of like, the production plateau set by the bid rounds because of uh, uncertainties on, on, on OPEC quarters and, and uh, infrastructure challenges. Mr. Al Khatib, at the moment, Wells Fargo actually is saying that US growth could be dented if the price of oil rises above $125 a barrel, with 2012 growth dropping to just 2.1% if it hits $150 and just 1.5% if it hit $175. Could you actually see the price of oil hitting that sort of price range, hitting $175 a barrel? Yeah, as, as I mentioned, uh, without uh, solid understanding of what really the market needs and proper forecasting, r rather than depending on just generic speculation, is going to be a, a repetitive uh, scenario of the 2008 uh, dilemma when uh, the prices hit high of 130, 147, then uh, um, dropped to $35. This will eventually hit producers and consumers alike, uh, and especially uh, producing uh, countries where uh, very much dependent on uh, oil uh, be be being as rentier economies. So you see, uh, so more it is definitely a very bad news. We can we can see we can see uh, similar scenarios. In fact, such scenarios could be uh, very much possible under. Uh, political and, 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 and military threats uh, on the Strait of Hormuz. I want to talk about that political and military threat of the Strait of Hormuz because actually trans it's a transit point for about two-thirds of Iraqi production. Are you a is Iraq able to compensate with more routes via Turkey or is it forcing Iraq to diversify routes in the long term at the moment? Uh, security of outlets is definitely a key priority for Iraq, and this should, be ta should have been taken a long time ago. Unfortunately, uh, it is something cannot be done with the press of a button. Uh, to uh, establish security of outlets via Turkey co northern corridor, uh, by Kurdistan, or by the western desert to uh, Aqaba, to Jordan, or um, Syria, and or to, to south via Saudi Arabia to Yanba Red Sea. It's going, it, will read, uh, it will need uh, a strategic planning and, and immediate action and a very solid foreign policy with these countries. Now, with, the, uh, uh, what's, with, with all what's happening now in, uh, on the Syrian side, I would just um, um, put, it, put, put that uh, scenario aside, but, but uh, definitely via Saudi Arabia to the Red Sea and uh, via the north of Iraq, via the Kurdistan region of Iraq, uh, and via Jordan. Those are likely scenarios, and, and Iraq need to add a good uh, four to five million barrels of production capacity through those strategic line, um, um, pipelines. But uh, that will require some time. It is not uh, something of a short-term uh, resolution.
Louis Jawad Al Khatib, Chief Executive Officer of Iraq Energy, joining us from the Credit Suisse Asian Investment Conference in Hong Kong. Thank you for all your views outlining the concerns for Iraq, of course, and how to diversify its production, getting it out to the world, and also you see more volatility for oil prices. Thank you.